What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I've been getting a lot of questions on YouTube, um, or not even questions, it's just statements where people are like, look, I'm not trusting any meme positions. I am a big fan of the, the more consistent movers, the believers that everybody sees in the top 100. But honestly, when you see the top 100, you have a lot of plays that people would classify as meme plays. Why is that? The popularity is strong. Um, within crypto. Popularity means everything in crypto, no matter if it actually has a use case or it doesn't. And it's always eye opening when people are like, hey, you know what, I would never buy a meme position. It's like saying that you would never invest into a, a business because it is a money driver, right? If you had money and you were one of these sharks on Shark Tank, you would decide to invest into some of these places because you either believe in the product or you believe in the revenue stream, right? There's a ton of things where you're like, uh, you go on Shark Tank, right? You watch those Shark Tank um, episodes and they have something where you're like, oh, this is a stupid product. And then they're like, oh, I made $5 million in the last three months. And then you're like, oh, well now I'm intrigued. How much did you profit off of that? Well, I profited $2 million. You're telling me that you're not gonna wanna invest into that, that uh, uh, business because of the fact that, you know, they don't, it doesn't make sense to you. No, it's not about that. You can find a way to market it. You can continue the growth. Um, and then you can end up making money from it because investments are all about making money. So um, honestly, it always weirds me out um, when people say, you know, hey, uh, there's this meme position, but I'm not investing to it at all. You know, I say that I won't invest into it at that moment. I need to find a better retracement point. I need to make sure if it is moving a hell of a lot that I'm gonna find a place where it does come back quite a bit. And um, that's usually what I look for. I invest into it and then see the growth pattern after that. And yes, I miss out from the absolute beginning of it. But what's great is that I usually find a place to invest to gain a little bit more, to gain like a 2X or 3X instead of you know the person out here that probably gained a 10X or 20X. It, it still works, you still are able to gain something, um, but you don't gain as much as the person that invested in the beginning. If you're late, you're late, but you have to work um, to end up gaining money if you are late. People think that it's not work, that you're just gonna invest at the high point and you're gonna gain money. No, that's FOMOing into a position, it's not gonna work. So just because it hasn't worked for you in the past um, doesn't mean that it doesn't work for anybody. It means that, <clears throat> or it means that or it doesn't mean that it won't work for you in the future or work for anybody. What it does mean is that you need to find a better strategy in investing into your positions, right? So I wanted to talk about meme, meme coins. I wanted to talk about Pepe um, to be more specific, but to understand that Pepe, you're underestimating its, its value. You're underestimating where it can go. Yes, anything could happen and it could absolutely retrace and, and never be seen again. Right, it could be the case, but I think you're underestimating the the amount of popularity behind it because the the amount of people that attacked, you know, kind of Coinbase for you know what they did or what they said, and then also this overall marketing strategy for Coinbase One and how people thought it was Pepe and and how much went into that and how much hype came into Pepe because of just that uh, marketing strategy that they had. Um, and the community behind it and how they were supporting it. Um, it. It's insane to see that, right? You can see the growth, you can see the potential. Um, and I think you just need to open some some people's eyes to what it can do. So before we get into this, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter at Perry8K, you can follow me over there. Don't forget about my Patreon link, which is in the description as well. So anyways, let's take some time to look at Pepe and see the value of it. And what you're seeing right now is um, it's up about 3.6%, uh, while the rest of the market is not really the most positive, this is up 3.6% or three, almost 3.7%. Now it is still at a, um, a lower market cap than where it was, but it is still hovering around the $600 million market cap. You know, seeing that level where it's at a 400 to 600, maybe even to $800 million market cap shows that it does have strength and it does have buyers down here, not just FOMOers, but buyers and holders that believe in the position and what it could do. Now, does it have a use case? 
No, it doesn't have a use case, and I don't think it will have a use case anytime soon. But the popularity will will propel it, will push it to a whole nother level during a bull run. And people underestimate what that really means, what the popularity of a position really means. So currently, yes, you're seeing $178 million worth of volume, um, which is lower than the $3 billion that we saw prior, um, not last not yesterday or the day before that but when things really started to explode and the multiple billions of dollars that we saw here but we're seeing this increase today um because people do believe in what what pepe can do um in the future uh during more of a meme coin run a bull run and when you see memes run like shiba inu or dogecoin or or bob or whatever you know that you're gonna have um a lot of potential with them. Like if you go back here and you see, you know, 33,000 followers, you go down here and you see the amount of people that are watching it right on watch list all the way down at the bottom. You're seeing that it's on um, 116,000 watch lists. Um, you go into the amount of holders within the position and you're going to see that you have 114,000 holders. That 114,000 is a lot. Whether it seems like a lot to people or it doesn't, it is a lot. Um, and it grows as more things happen, as more interest uh, gets built, as more popularity gets built, more holders come on. And that's what you saw with something like Shiba Inu, right? You have 1.8, I believe it's 1.8, uh, scroll down here to watch list, there we go. Um, we're going to see 1.8 million people that are watching this. You have 304,000 that are following it. And then if you go into the contract address, you're going to see, um, I copied it. You're going to see 1.3, 1.3 million followers within it, 1.3 million holders within it. Same thing you go with Dogecoin. How many people are, are following that over here? 1.7 million that are following it. It creates so much strength and it's worth $10 billion of a market cap. This, this didn't get there overnight. Now it did end up making moves over days and weeks and months um, to get up to these levels and to go up even higher than that. But um, for Shiba Inu, it did the same thing. So what's stopping Pepe from making that move as well? So I think people really do underestimate the value um, that meme coins can drive, not only for that position, but for cr the cryptocurrency market in general, because it makes others that are, uh, that are stronger. When we saw Dogecoin run, we saw a massive boom to the overall cryptocurrency market because billions of dollars were flowing through Dogecoin on a daily basis. And when they were flowing through Dogecoin on a daily basis, that means they're flowing in and out. And what are they doing with that money when they flow, when it flows out? They're most likely not um, throwing it into their bank account. They're most likely putting it into another position. They're taking some profit, putting it into another play, which means they could put it into Ethereum, BNB, CRO, so many other plays. This is in the inflow that we need to have, um, you know, an even younger and younger crowd that comes in and understands cryptocurrency a little bit more and brings this to the level that it deserves to be at, which is a 10 trillion, $100 trillion market cap overall for cryptocurrency. So I think people underestimate, they really do underestimate, um, you know, meme coins and their value that they bring to the markets. Uh, before you sit here and write off a meme coin, before you sit here and say, this is, this is BS, this is horrible. Make sure you do your research first to understand if it is something that's maybe a, a scam coin or something. Um, if it's not, then it's gonna create value for the cryptocurrency market. But you have to do your research on it, just like everything else. You can go into the um, OTC market um, and buy up some some penny stocks. And you know a lot of those may end up being nothing. And you'll be upset when they are nothing, but then you may have that one that really does take off and you make some money from it if you are effective in trading the you know penny stocks so anyways guys let me know what you think about meme coins have i changed your mind uh, about meme coins or their value i mean you don't have to sit here and be like oh well i'm gonna go ahead and buy it now no that's not the case what i want is people to understand where the value is for meme coins um and where what value meme coins bring to the cryptocurrency market so guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.